Hi and welcome to video blog number two. Uh, thanks so much for joining me on my journey. Um, I've basically finished my TB medication almost two years ago now, um, but I've been struggling a lot with various infections and going into hospital for pneumonia, um, things that were just so unexpected. And um, I've decided to create this Facebook page to bring awareness about these kinds of things, um, mostly because if there's other people who haven't had access to information just like me, then I want to create that platform for people. So the results of the CT scan uh, show that the right there's a part of my right hand lung that has collapsed, and um, this is due to <clears throat> two possible reasons. The first is that there's a sputum buildup um, from on the scar tissue, and that can easily easily be removed by a short procedure. And the second is that there's actually an infection that's causing the sputum to be there, which um, also needs to be sorted out. So the pulmonologist has decided to do a scope. Uh, it sounds like it might be this Thursday. And it's, it's a short morning procedure where they'll put me under anesthetic and go in with a small camera down my windpipe. They'll take a look at what's going on um, because there is parts of my right lung that is quite badly, badly damaged and they did find other funny bugs um, in the sputum result that I did send in. However, the good news is that they didn't find um, TB in the sputum and I have actually stopped coughing for probably about the last two to three weeks. Um, that's Coughing is quite a, a common symptom of TB and um, as you may understand or maybe you don't, um, it's not, TB wasn't always ruled out um, because of my current situation. Um, when you have had TB, you have a bigger chance of being reinfected um, as opposed to somebody who's never had it before. Um, I'm feeling quite positive about it. Um, I'm excited to have it done and and I, I feel like I'm in good hands. You know, the doctor that I'm seeing has really been so helpful and so informative. Um, so it's it's good. And um, I wanted to to say to everybody watching this video that if you have any questions or if you know of people who have questions surrounding TB, um, you're welcome to send it to lifeofthetv at gmail.com. I will be coming up with my own questions to um, ask the doctor that I'm seeing. You know, part of the reason why I started this page was because I, w I didn't have access to information. Uh, when I finished my, um, my treatments two years ago, I didn't have a follow-up of what to expect, what to do um, if I did get sick. You know, I just had no idea how to manage m my lungs, really, and they were quite badly damaged. So this is my attempt at creating awareness for other people who are in the same situation, and hopefully we can we can beat this, yeah, or just create a better a better means for people to access information. So um, also take a look on our Facebook page. We've liked quite a few pages that, um, that share a lot of information on TB and AIDS because HIV and AIDS is connected to TB often because it lowers your immune system. Um, yeah, so check it out there. If you have any other information, you're welcome to contact us. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers.